Hello, welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name's Jason Newland and this is Jason Chats. Haven't done one of these for a while. And uh, let me just get something. Oh. squeaky chair all my chairs squeak I think I might be just too light I think my I think I need to put more weight on that's what it is I just I'm too slim that's my way my <laughs> there's no logic in that at all so this is live so if you're listening or watching or whatever maybe say hi Got my phone so I can. I'm gonna log in so I can see messages. I know I can't see messages, can I? Monica is watching. Hi, Monica. I'm gonna wave. I just waved to you. I'm watching this. I'm using a tablet, so it's a bigger screen than normally I use the phone, and I can't really see the writing. But uh, Monica said hello. Boston's watching. Hi, Boston. Gonna load a little wave to you. Hi, Jay. You saw my little shout out today to my little Boston. My little Boston to Boston. Uh, Chicky. And um, I'm basically gonna <clears throat> we're gonna watch the boxing at two o'clock. Uh, so I'm just I thought I know what I do. There's not really enough time to make a, a recording or anything. So I'll go live. I'll do a little Jason Chats. And Boston is the one person out of pretty most people that, you know, follow me would know all about Jason Chats because she actually encouraged me to do it back in to 2011. Little Boston, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so it's quite a while back. There was a time, oh yeah, only listen when you can safely close your eyes because I'm so boring, you may fall asleep. Um, there was a time back in 2011 where, well and onwards, but it was before that as well, but that's when I kind of discovered the, but it was a big thing, uh, blogging or vlogging on YouTube, big do you remember that Boston? Yeah, she's saying yes. And Boston was a vlogger. Uh, there was loads and loads. Um, uh, Eric Chump Chumpkin, whatever his name is. He's, I follow him on Facebook now, but he used to make really, really good videos. Very uh, kind of spiritual kind of stuff. But real, I don't know how you want to describe it, but there was lots. But then there was a lot of infighting as well, which was kind of strange. Uh, people making videos towards another person, directed at another person. And uh, I've never really seen stuff like that before. And yeah, so it was very, uh, I think also Boston Schmumpkin, yeah. Uh, I want to say hello, Molly. Hey, Molly. It's my friend Molly from Australia. Hey. Um, Boston, I'm just, Molly, I'm just talking about the Jason Chats um, vlogs that I used to do. Now, I started doing vlogging. I started, I didn't call it vlogging. Oh, there's still, Boston says they're still fighting on there, really. Wow. Um, there was one I used to like. Um, and you're not involved now, Boston, I don't blame you. Because really weird, if you go on and you do a vlog and you talk about yourself, which I do on my um, Let Me Bore You To Sleep podcasts, I talk about myself, but it's not. It's probably not in the same way as a vlog, if you know what I mean. I'm not going out filming stuff um, because it's not supposed to be interesting. Linda says, hi, hi. Hi Linda, how come I can't wave to you on there? I'll do a proper wave then. Rachel Elizabeth, hello Rachel, hello. These are all these people that I know. Hi. 
Normally when I come on in, there's no one here. And there has been times when I've been on in, there's people here, but... Um, hi Rachel, so yeah, it's just really cool. So I already did a little wave to you, Linda, as well. Uh, Boston, I'm on iVlog now. You're keeping it alive, you're keeping the... Oh, Monica says, let me bore you to sleep is my favourite. Thank you, Monica. Boston says it's fun for me. It's it is fun. I um God I got all these little didn't know you were going live. Says Rachel. I didn't know either. Didn't know. It's very much like going to the toilet. I don't get a lot of notice. I don't you know just you get the feeling. I think yeah I'll go live. Um Molly says very glad I'm. I don't know for those of you who can't see this. The reason I'm reading it out is because I'm answering, but at the same time, uh, if I put this on YouTube, they won't be able to see the messages. Uh, Molly says, very glad I'm not asleep for this one. Thank you. I'm going to send you to sleep. Molly, look at my funny face. And the more you look at my face, the more you're going to want to close your eyes. <laughs> you're really going to want to close your eyes. <sighs> Elizabeth says, I'll just be listening to how you are. Oh, listening to listen to you. How are you? Linda's just joined. Hi, Linda. Uh, Rachel, I'm all right. Um, been a bit of a weird couple of weeks that I mentioned my neighbour died downstairs. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. Up and down, up and down, like a little puppet. And um, the last week, because it's Saturday now, it's Sunday now, so let's say last week. Um, Where just says, looking good? Well, yeah. You know how it is. All this love from all these, all these lovely ladies around the world just keeps me looking perfect, you know? <laughs> um, I set my website up to... Um, well, Rachel's not interested in me at all, are you, Rachel? All you want is my boy. I'll go and get him. Wait a sec. Oh, I don't know where he is. Give me a second. I think he's in the bedroom. Here we go. I couldn't find him. So I don't know, I couldn't find out where he was. So I couldn't bring him, sorry. <sighs> it's a shame. It would have been lovely to um, have uh, let you see him, but he just, he's not around. I couldn't see, he's not in, his, not in his bag. He's not in the thingy. <laughs> it's got my slipper. Well, he's, he hasn't, he's not, wasn't even with my slipper. I just don't know where on earth he is. It just seems weird. I don't get it. He's like, he's hiding somewhere. I feel like he's close, but I don't know. Oh, oh there he is. There he is. Hello. <laughs> he was there all the time. See, all this time you thought I was fat. I'm not. I've just got a little ferret under my top. So there. Kinella, uh, Kinapella, uh, how are Kinapella? Um, Rachel says, I bet not ask what's in the jacket. I'll be honest with you, I went and got him and I put him in there. He wasn't there the whole time. And I really am fat. I really am. And he lovely. Linda says, oh, hi, Andre. Andre, are you going to say hello to all your fans? <laughs> he was asleep. Andre, but Auntie Boston says, hi, Andre. Oh, look. So you can see him. I've got all the writing and like the messages on the screen. But, oh, there you go. Look. Hey. Let's say hello to Auntie Rachel. And Auntie Linda. Wow. 
<laughs> oh, when he's licking my face and my lips, I have to re- I have to blank out where I, what I know he gets up to. Monica says, "Oh, Auntie Monica, Auntie Monica says hello." Oh. <laughs> Andre wants to know if he can make a recording for the Let Me Boy to Sleep podcast. If he can do his own one. So I'm thinking about letting him. What do you think? Auntie Molly. She says, hi, little Andre, cutie. Hey, look. Everyone loves you. <laughs> he has these little spasms. Because I think he's still partly asleep. So I think his body's partly asleep. Definitely. His little paws are so sweet. Do you want to see him? Get a little bit closer. Oh, he doesn't like me using it. He, he does say, Stop, I'm not a toy. I'm not a toy, Daddy. Look. These little paws. Look. I tell you what, with these ones, oh, sorry, excuse me, it's blushes. With the little ones, look, look at what he does naturally. Hey, look at that. He naturally clings onto it. He doesn't need, it's like an automatic response. I go like that. He doesn't want to. He wants. He doesn't want me showing him off. Monica says, "I can hear him sometimes, not walking, but the paper." Yeah, he's Monica. He is. He's a little. He's a little monkey. He's a little. <laughs> Molly's like sorry. His little um bits got shown there, but I covered them up. I'm sorry, Andre. I shouldn't do that, should I? Um, he's, when I'm making a recording, it's, I think it's pops, possibly because I'm mentioning his name. He was holding my hand, Molly, he was, he loves it. Look, see, when I do it, normally, see? <laughs> oh, don't go. Don't go. Um, Monica, it's not an it, it's a he. It's Andre, it's he, not it. You're not an it, are you? He is sometimes. He is an it. He's a horrible it sometimes. Aren't you? Hmm? He might fall asleep. He's, um... Yeah, when I'm talking on, especially with the Let Me Boy to Sleep ones, I don't mind so much because um, that's more like conversational. But some of the other recordings I do, it annoys me. But he'll get up and he'll start running around. It sounds like an elephant running around, seriously. And then um, it's the paper. Oh, paper. you love the paper. Trust me. Come here, look at the paper. You won't love it anymore when you see it. But he, he likes to climb onto the paper and, you know, do what he does. But then he likes to get, for some reason, he go, he's got one, two, three, four. He's got about six carrier bags spread around the flat. And he loves going in them. And someone years ago, they said to me, oh, you shouldn't let him in a carrier bag. And I think this is on YouTube. Oh, he'll get, he'll get trapped and all that. So I thought, I'll test this out. So what I did is I put him in a carrier bag and I trapped him in the carrier. I, obviously he was safe, I wasn't going to hurt him, but I, I, I held the carrier bag and I tied it up. And he was out within two seconds. Because he's got these things called... <laughs> that rips through a carrier bag like a butter through... Butter? Butter through... You know what I mean, through, through a knife. Anyway. Um... He can get through a carrier bag. He can he can rip his way through a, a cardboard box. He can, when I had him when he was a little baby, he actually bent, he bit through wood to get out of a wooden cage and he actually bent the metal bars to get out. A carrier bag can't hold him. So, okay, I'll, I'm just talking. It's all part of the recording. Can I turn that down? Yeah, I can, okay. 
Uh, Molly says, it's all part of recordings. It's nice as we get to know what all the sounds are from when you're living, where you're living, etc. Somehow relaxing too. Oh, thank you. See, he helps. I think when he hears me, I talk about him and I think he, he hears his name and he thinks, oh, daddy's doing something. I can annoy him. I can annoy my daddy. So uh, Boston says it's not bad to hear it. Oh, that's good. I do think sometimes it's a little bit distracting. Um, Monica says, agreed, Molly. Oh, cool. And Molly, I haven't heard the birds or neighbours recently, though. This is the winter here. Um, it's There's not a lot of... Um, the birds don't start until a lot later, more like six, seven o'clock. And I'm usually in bed by then. Um, in the summer, they start at about three o'clock. And that's when I'm making my recordings. So uh, I've got my shed, but I need to put soundproofing in there, and that's quite expensive. So I'm, I'm gonna have to. I've got the shed in. Does anyone want to see my shed? <laughs> I should I take you to see my shed? Do you want to see? Does anyone want to see my shed? Tell me if you do, and I'll show you it. Because I've never shown anyone my shed. Um, did you find his little snake? His little snake is in the shed, I think. He, he hides it. He won't let me go anywhere near it. Good knee, hi, good knee. Hello, I want to wave to you. Uh, Rachel says, I don't mind all the background noise. Yeah, it's the word noise, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it, it does, even the, um, oh. Okay, well, here we go then. Follow me. Right, just remember, Firstly, that the the room is messy, and secondly, I don't care what you think. I'm joking. Well, not really. Here we go. This is my bedroom. Are you ready? And that's not something you normally see in a bedroom, is it? A garden shed. That's the bed. Quickly. Mess, messy bed. I'm not going to focus on that. So here's the shed, and what I've got is that's some soundproofing stuff. That's partly soundproofed, if you can see on the outside. This is where I hang up my clothes so they dry. And this, look, if you can see that, they're actually wrecked. Oh God, there's cobwebs, let's forget that. These are, um, Wall racks for my where I hang stuff. So this is the shed. I'm going inside. Ooh. Oh, you can't. See, uh, it's. I've got a few bits in there, but you, as you see, it's very dark in there. So. It's big enough for me to stand in. It's about five foot by three, I think. But as you can see, there's enough room in here. That's the shed. That's the bed. So it's not cramped, if you know what I mean. I've actually slept in rooms as big as that shed in the past. So all that light, oh. I look bored, don't I? I look a bit bored. So that's the that's the shed, said Boston. No, the shed's inside. <laughs> look, Boston, have you not known me long enough to realise that I don't do normal don't do things normally. I don't have the ability to do things normally. Ask my dad. Uh so I'm just gonna see if anyone misses Grinso Guni Groni is waving, so hello, I'm watching. Rachel, yes, please, yes, 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 yes. I love the shed. Love to see the shed. <laughs> Not I love the shed, I love to see the shed. And then Molly says, I've got a picture in my head of what it looks like. Interested to see what it actually looks like. So the question, I probably don't want to ask Molly. Molly, is it, is it worse or is it different? Um, hmm? 
Boston says that's a shed, okay. She thought it was outside. <laughs> Can we see the squeezy chair? Oh, okay. Here we go. The, the squeaky, I think you meant, isn't it? This is the chair. As you can see, it is. Oh, I'll move a bit, a few bits out. Let's see from a distance. That's my books. Look, my book collection. Not a huge amount anymore, but that's my books. This is the chair. It's worn out. It's old. It's a bit grim, look at that. That's the... <laughs> there you go, so that's that's my telly. That's my punch bag. Look, that's my telly. Where is it? That's my curtains. And that's the, I don't know if you can see that soundproofing I've got on that wall I want to put on inside the shed so I want to get those strips because they're self adhesive and that's the soundproofing I've got on this wall you can see that and that's a microphone I use when I make the podcasts with the longest lead in the world and that I don't know if you can see that, it's a picture of my nan. Me and my nan. Wee. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming back now. I've given you a tour. Right, okay. So Riley, hi Riley. I didn't see you'd arrived. Hi Riley, hope you're well. Um, I'm gonna wave to you. Sherry, hi Sherry. Wave to you as well. Whew, um, got out of breath doing that, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, it's magnificent, thank you Riley. Molly, it really is. Uh, didn't... Linda says, didn't I get a new chair? Yeah, I did get a new chair. And it was broken. So I unpacked all the material. Like, you know, because it came in so much stuff. Cardboard, plastic, whatever. And it was solid as far as, you know, it looked fine. Unpacked it all. Sat down in it. And it felt, I thought it was okay. And then I limped back. And again, it seemed okay. But the back didn't come back up again. And I thought, I know I'm perhaps a little bit heavy at times, but surely I'm not heavy enough to break a brand new chair. And then eventually I looked at the back of it and it was all broken, both sides. One was completely broken, the other bit was like half broken. The wood, it literally was just smashed. So we ended up um, having to replace, get it sent back. And yeah, so that, that was it really. When they come and collected it, they, had, they started saying, the, the, the delivery people, or the collection people, they said, it wasn't like this when we delivered it. I said, are you calling me a liar? And they said, no, 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 no. I said, look, I know, I know I'm fat, but I'm not that fat. I couldn't break a brand new chair, because it was sturdy, it was a good chair. Well, it would have been, if it was a working, you know. So I sent it back, and... I said, don't bother, I don't want another one. Um, oh, Riley says, my nana is precious, thank you. She passed away 2014. Uh, so yeah, so she's five years, five years. So that's, I don't have many pictures of her, that's kind of the only one really. Um, like in a frame, I've got another picture, there's a small one in a, like a bigger frame of like family and stuff. 
Um, but the reason I found out, the reason my dad doesn't keep pictures of me is because I make faces in the pictures. And I make faces, that's what I do. Uh, and he doesn't like those pictures when I make faces. He also doesn't seem to like pictures of me when I've got a beard, even though I've had a beard pretty much most of my adult life, apart from when I had to shave for work at certain jobs. There you go. But um, but I hold on to that picture, and I want to keep that for the rest of my life, just like I wore this table, because I inherited this, um, and anything else that I got from my name. So Rachel, you'll get you'll need to get creative with some material. I don't have that. I just don't have the my uh, I haven't got the patience, the ability, or anything to be resurfacing chairs. And also, it's broken. The chair's broken. It doesn't work. You know, it, I can only I can I can lean back, but I have to kind of balance myself because if I go all the way back, which it did once, I fell all the way back. Literally got trapped. I'm still there now, still trapped. It was ever so naughty. And Sherry says, hi, Jason. Hi, Jay. Um, hi, Sherry. Um, Rachel says, you're not fat. Don't put yourself down. Oh, thank you. I'm very skinny. I'm also, I'm also like, I, think, I get worried that some people might think I'm George Clooney when I come on here. So that's why I've, I, just, I don't come on so often because it's not, not fair on him, is it? So glad they took it back. How stressful. Molly, it was. Actually, I I didn't enjoy that week at all, to be honest. Um, Dryly says, oh, she's got such a sweet face. I feel fortunate enough to have had a good relationship with my nana before she passed as well. Yeah, um, they can be pretty amazing sometimes. Um, I know not everybody, sort of, some people have a good relationship with their brothers or sisters or whatever. Uh, parents but mine my probably only real like connection was with my nan out of my family um, I kind of had a I don't know why but I just seemed to have quite a special relationship with her and uh, Molly says can't please everyone we embrace your faces beard and all Feci faces <laughs> we embrace your faces beard and all thank you as long as you love me, that's all that matters. Rachel, and stop telling lies, ha. Huh? What am I telling lies about? Apart from 80% of my podcasts, when I'm talking. Lots of lies. Lies, 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 all the time. I love it. It's supposed to be lies. Can you imagine if everything I said was true? Even though maybe all of it is, I doubt it. No. Nah. So all I've got you as a captive audience. If you haven't done it already, and if you fancy doing it just for me as a little favour, please go to my website and leave a video review. That's it. You can do it on your phone. Just click on it, the review. Go to my website, jasonnewland.com. Someone contacted me the other day and said, what's your website? I've been listening to you for 10, 10 years. What's your website? Every recording, I save my website address, and I have done from 2006. It should be embedded in your mind. Um, Rachel there, Riley says, have you considered making merch? I would love even some stickers or something small like that. George Clooney and Skinny, says Rachel. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously. I mean, even I could be a fat George Clooney, couldn't I? But uh, definitely, I think it'd probably rather be me, though. Um, Riley, can I, have I, I thought about making merch. Riley says, you say it every time. What about being fat? Or about making merch? <laughs> have you considered making merch? I would love even some stickers or something more like that. I thought about doing something with Andre. I still got a reply to that lady that sent me a message the other day. She offered to do some images for me. And I just, I haven't replied. I replied on a, a podcast, but I need to reply personally, don't I? Um, yeah, I, I thought about maybe, the, I thought about writing a book. I thought 
thought about doing a Let Me Boys Sleep boring book. I thought maybe I could go through all the recordings because there's now 312 it's about three, it's recordings, about 340 hours or 350 hours of me talking crap or rubbish or whatever. Um, okay. You said it. No, look, the website. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Sorry, Riley. I was. I, was, uh, I said, yeah, I do say it every time, don't I? Every time I say it. Um, welcome. It used to be, hello. Actually, I was younger, so it was, hello. Welcome to www.jasonnewland.com. And, um,. Boston says that you're watching me on TV. Hey, is there anyone else there I can say hello to? I'm on TV. I'm a TV star. Dad, look at me now. Ah. Um, a book would be awesome as well. Thank you. I I don't know if I've got it in me to do it because I'm more, I'm better talking, if that makes sense. I can verbalise, but if I was to have to sit down and write, um. I can't write as quickly as I think, and I don't think particularly quickly necessarily, but my writing's even slower than that. But yeah, I don't know. Uh, but maybe some pictures of Andre. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure. I'd like to, because for me, Andre is the. Um, what do they call it? Uh, it's not. What do they call it? You know, if, um, it's a football game. They have the mascot. That's it, mascot. Linda says, audiobook. Yeah, but I suppose I am making audiobooks, aren't I, in a sense? I could get Ghostwriter. Yeah, but they're hard to find, aren't they? I mean, look at all those programs on TV. Not once have they found a ghost. I'd really enjoy an autobiography. I think you've had a really interesting life. Well, that's, I do talk about my life, and hopefully it's boring. <laughs> I'm hoping it's boring. Um, I The mascot. Andre is my mascot. He's almost kind of, for me, like the, the mascot of my life. Um, or maybe the free hypnosis service is the mascot of my life. I don't know. But Andre is my mascot. And... Um, I mean, people were listening before Andre came along, but he's just so damn cute. So, you know, he's he's my mascot. And that's why I've got him on the, the image for the Let Me Boy You To Sleep podcast. And I made that image myself. It took ages to do. But I was so pleased because it's the best one I've got, the best image I was able to put together. And having Andre on there and his little looking, you know, laying down, looking out of his cage, even though he doesn't go into the cage anymore. Boston says, Bentley is my mascot. Well, I can't afford an expensive car. Little snippets aren't boring. Oh, I've, oh, oh, Molly, Molly, let me, let me see if I'm getting this right. So little snippets of my life won't be boring. <laughs> so if I write little snippets like a, a book of my 36 years and um, but when I go into detail that's when it becomes really boring is that what you're saying is that what you're saying uh, Monica says I find your life very interesting sorry Rachel says thank you Rachel says he is adorable are uh, as you, George Newland. George? Is that because of the beard? A bit like George Michael? God, I'd love to look like George Michael. Well, not now, but I mean, you know, when he was alive. Loved George Michael. Molly Rose, no in the podcast. Okay. I thought you was being no rude to me, nasty. Um... I might do, you know what I was thinking of doing? You know what I was thinking of doing? 
is Riley says I've got to drive home but it's been lovely interacting with you Jason please do more of these I've enjoyed it thanks Riley um yeah I don't know why I don't do it I think it's I don't know really I don't know just felt in the mood you know what I mean just felt in the mood to to come online and oh sorry George oh George Clooney sorry sorry Rachel I'm, I'm very slow sometimes you should know that um well have a safe journey home uh Riley what was I going to say hi hi Deborah I was thinking of going through my podcasts for the boring ones and trying to edit and find in the best bits but I don't know what the best bits would be because I listen to people on the radio and they do like a podcast of their best bits from the week and they have about like half an hour maybe show and Rachel says glad you did come online thank you um but I don't know what would, would the best bits be the silly bits or would the best bits be the bits where I'm the most boring and I don't know how to judge which is which as far as which is the most boring because there are some like I got told the other day that my description of my staircase was one of the most boring things you'd ever heard um, which is brilliant uh, mouse lady would be a <laughs> good best bit <laughs> Oh, Boston, you know what? I had more to add to that as well, but I didn't. <laughs> um, Linda says, I enjoy your stories when you go out. Oh. When I go... How do you know when I've been out? You got a camera in here or something? You spying on me, Linda? How do you know when I go out? <laughs> when I go out, I hardly ever go out. Oh, perhaps I should get out more. That's probably why, because when I go out, I'm so shocked that there's human beings doing stuff. Like, what are they doing that for? Molly says, that would take 100 years. You would have hours and hours and hours to go through. You're right. I would. I mean, 350 hours so far. If I was to do eight hours a day, let me work it out on my calculator. Uh, 350 hours divided by eight... It would take 43.75 days if I spent eight hours a day going through it. 43 days. That's an impossible task, isn't it, really? Um, so Mouse Lady, I suppose unless people tell me what one they like, that maybe is an intro, a, a story they like, maybe you could download them and edit it, edit out the bit and then send it to me, the bit that you like. And tell me what what um, session it was, or you could just tell me, yeah, or you could just tell me what time it starts and what time it ends on the podcast, and what podcast it is, what number, and send it to me. Um, you go and buy Andre flea treatment, and when you buy tea cakes from Iceland, okay. <laughs> Well, I don't think the flea treatment was a funny story. I was very agitated. And buying tea cakes from Iceland? Wow. Your shopping trips, bus towels, etc. Okay. You know, Rachel will tell you. Well, Rachel has commented a couple of times and sort of mentioned something. And I say, I don't remember what I've talked about. I genuinely couldn't tell you what I talked about yesterday. Although the other day I did do quite a... Um, quite a weird recording I think it was a bit very surreal a couple of days ago and that's a problem with going out you have to come into contact with other humans I like the stories of a childhood says Rachel thank you um Molly Rose replying to Rachel me too okay Rachel what I want what I want to know are they chocolate no what the flea the flea sprays no He'd be eating it, wouldn't he? The fleas? The mice? Um, I, the tea cakes are toast, so they can't have chocolate in them. Well, they can, but that would be melted chocolate. It's like, ugh. Um, no. 
I don't see I've got a sweet tooth I've got one one tooth left and I've got a sweet tooth and but I don't like I don't like sweet stuff mixed with savory for me a tea cake is savory in a sense um, because it's got currants but I couldn't have chocolate with it it's a weird that's just a weird thing isn't it um these are times go out. Getting help was a good one. Ah, so Boston's talking about my um, relaxation, hypnosis for stress, anxiety and panic attacks. So I need to say thank you to Boston for that as well. Because I made the, I started making those recordings back in beginning of 2017, I think. And Boston was the first person to... You, I think you listened to all of them, I think. You really sort of gave me quite a good feedback on that. Uh, I didn't make any more because I made 34 and that was kind of enough. And I stuck them on, on Spreaker, 21st of November, 2007, no, 2018. And I just left them, as I did with all the other podcasts. And suddenly people were downloading them and listening. And now I get... On a daily basis, I probably get, it equals the most popular podcast that I have on a daily one. So sometimes I get six to eight hundred downloads just on that one podcast. Uh, so, yeah, the asking for help, I think I agree with you on that one. Oh, where are you? Oh yeah, getting help, tea cakes, Rachel, yeah, tea cakes. Tea cakes, they are fruit bun things, says Molly. Uh, yeah, they, they will ask Molly. They're, you know, hot cross buns. I don't know. Do you, serve, do you have Easter in Australia? Um, that's a genuine question. I don't know what the answer to that is. Uh, would you ever do an overeating hypnosis? Um, I have already done that. I've done a couple. Um they're under my self self development self help podcast i think i've got uh drinking overeating i've got one for vomiting not not to make you vomit but to to deal with that cuz a lot of people have like issues with that um as did my cousin of mine and my sister as well uh she overcame it when she got pregnant because she just Basically, it, she realised it was a natural process, and when you're pregnant, I think sometimes, and I'm 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 talking as a man with loads of knowledge about being pregnant, obviously. Um, with a lot of things, I think when you associate it with a positive thing, it's easier to deal with. You know, when you know the cause of it. So, with a broken bone, no matter how painful it is. You know what the pain is. It's broken. It's a broken bone. And providing it's not in a serious part of your body, like your back or your neck, um, hopefully it's just going to heal up and you'll be fine. So there's nothing really to worry about generally. So if you broke your hand, I broke my wrist, my hand twice, I broke my foot, uh, I've broken different parts of my body. and But if I had that pain and didn't know what it was, that would scare the hell out of me. So I think with the vomiting, with my sister and everything, or with other people, when, when they're pregnant, they know the pregnant involves vomiting at the beginning, perhaps, morning sickness. But it's connected to this little baby that's going to come out in a few months. So, I don't know, it's, it's a... I can't believe I was going to talk about vomiting. I hate vomiting. But, you know what? I had gastroenteritis last year and vo <laughs> I'm not going into details, I've probably mentioned it before, but you know what? Vomiting now, it rarely happens, but I'm not scared of it anymore. I don't like it. I'm not embracing it. I'm not like praying for it or oh, please kind of vomit. But I don't, um, I'm not scared of it anymore. So I used to have a thing. So... Uh, sorry, I've I've gone off on a, a tangent there. Uh, 
Up north, we have chocolate tea cakes made by Tunnocks, says Rachel. I think we do have chocolate tea cakes here, but I just, I ignore them. I, a bit like the job centre. You know, I'd walk past it, wouldn't see it. It just doesn't exist. Don't, don't, no, 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 no. Um, they are very helpful. Oh, thank you, not the chocolate tea cakes, the, the, the relaxation things. I do wonder if I'm sometimes a little bit too preachy. I do wonder if I'm a bit, just, I do, I've got a lot of positive feedback from those podcasts. From basically the Let Me Boy to Sleep. I've got like, got a little community going on with this podcast, which I think is quite cool. With the relaxation for stress and anxiety, it's a bigger audience, to be fair. Well, it's not. It's a bigger audience on its own. But with the Let Me Boy to Sleep, I get about a thousand downloads a day, if not more, because it's on three different, no, four different podcasts, one main one, and I get over a thousand downloads every day between all of them. But on the the stress anxiety one, I'm getting about six to eight hundred a day, depends. So, you know, it's, but there's a community, there seems to be a community spirit with this one. With this, uh, let me bore you to sleep. And maybe it's because I'm opening myself up, perhaps. I love, Rachel, all you want to do is talk about tea cakes. You've got a one-track mind. Okay, um, Boston had issue with vomiting, found out it was an ear issue. I'm going to, I'm going to go deaf in my left ear, says Boston. Oh, wow. Sorry to hear that. Um, I was deaf in one of my ears when I was a kid. I know it's not a competition, I'm not competing with it, I'm just saying I was, and I had to have an operation, at, so I was having tests, can't have ear aches, and, which I didn't mind so much because it got me out of class, because I was only seven, or eight, and eventually uh, they just tested my ears, I had to get listen to this machine, Dee, can you hear this, yes, and like, and then it got to the point where now I can't hear anything. And eventually, uh, they they kind of like, well, we don't really know what's causing the the. Um, I don't know what the correct term is. Let's say deafness, but the the lack of hearing in that ear. And it would be my right ear. And uh, eventually, I had my adenoids out. And yeah, so but. As I've got older, I found my, and I don't have many conversations with humans, like one on one. I don't see many people, but I've got a friend that I see fairly regularly. And sometimes I have to keep asking him to repeat himself. So I think my hearing is diminished somewhat. Um, but on one level, I don't mind because it means I won't. Noisy neighbours will be less of a problem in the future. But I can hear enough to hear. Does that make sense? I don't feel that um, it's affecting me. And there's no pain or anything like that. But, um, yeah, Boston, I'm sorry to hear that. It's, that's horrible for many, many areas. I can't, don't know what that says. Rachel says, I like the story of a beach whale and Bobby. <laughs> You know what, I have no idea what I was talking about on that one, really. Bobby and the whale. Uh, Rachel says, have you done an addict uh, addicted to online shopping? I think I have a problem. I haven't. I've done two addiction um, recordings for drugs and two. I did an alcohol and food addiction thing. Um, Scott Sherman's here. Hi, Scott. And I yeah, I forget what I was saying. Bolly says I had hypermesis when I was pregnant, vomiting a hundred times a day for twenty weeks. Worst time ever. Were you counting them? Were you actually a hundred times a day for twenty weeks? My goodness. 
Wow. Wow, I've never heard anything like that in my life. Whoa. I bet your child's going to be a... a one-child pet family now, isn't it? I bet you're not going to want any more kids after that. Going through that? Wow. Hypermesis. You say to your, to your child, Yes, you're an only child. Why is it? Why didn't you have any more children, mummy? Why didn't you give me a, br a brother or sister? <laughs> you want to know? Well, here's my little book. See all these little notches? Yeah, it looks like it's about 100 there. Yeah. And look how many days. 20 days? 20? No, no, weeks. We That's what you did to me while you were in my tummy. That's why there's no more of you. That's why I didn't have any more. Um, Scott Sherman's watching. Hi, Scott, Angela. Hi, Angela. Scott, hello. Hello, mate. He says, Molly says, it was a pit. Had to be admitted to hospital. Sound, I mean, to be fair, just from a, the aspect of uh, liquids in your body. I mean, where the hell do you, where do you get it from? Where, I mean, if I vomited a hundred times a day, I wouldn't need to go on a diet. I mean, I'd be... They would, apart from being dehydrated, and <laughs> it's uh, I just wow, Whew. I mean gastroenteritis was weird, but I was I say I was lucky, but I was lucky because I had it I actually visiting my niece who was in hospital with really serious condition really serious and she ended up going to a major hospital in London for children and so I, I saw her for the first time ever because she's only about five four months old or something so I saw her for the first time thought maybe she was six months old and then I left that hospital and I was ill pretty much that evening so I, I'm not gonna blame it on her but I think I must have caught something at that hospital and Oh man, luckily, I felt like I needed to vomit the whole time, but luckily, um, I, it was both, you know, uh, I've talked about it before, I had to buy my, uh, I had to buy my washing machine flowers to apologise. Um, Scott says, can't stick around too long on here mate, just wanted to say thank you for all the videos and sleep sessions. I have listened to you since 2006. Wow. After I had an accident and was diagnosed with PTSD and couldn't sleep without pills, alcohol, your sessions helped me a lot. So thank you and keep up the good work. Thank you, Scott. That's beautiful, honestly, man. That's really, really um, means something to me uh, to hear that. So uh, for since two facts, so you can prove, because I saw, you know, sometimes I say, I've been doing this since 2006. And I almost feel like there's a part of me saying, you're a bloody liar. You only started three years ago. And like, no, I've been doing it since 2006. You're lying. Why do you keep lying to everyone? They're like, I'm not lying to anyone. I really have been doing... Well, prove it. Have you got any proof? <laughs> it's like, no. Well, if we... Find someone that can prove it. We need a testimonial from someone from 2006. So there you go. Um... Scott, he's been listening since 2006. So I have, in fact, been doing this for 14 years. Thank you very much. And that's why I'm so rich and famous. That's why, <laughs> that's why I've got writing on the wall, my rich, this is my mansion. I mean, actually, this is just my toilet. This whole building, you thought it was my flat, it was just a toilet. Um. Now I have proof, and it's on Facebook as well. So that'll be that'll still that'll be on this video, won't it? Yeah. Cheers, Scott. See, I wasn't lying. I lie about most things, but I didn't lie about that. Linda says I found you in two thousand eleven. Then you disappeared for a bit. Yeah, that's what my psychologist calls my self sabotage. Um, have to go, fella. Thanks for the shout out. Cheers, cheers, Scott. Honestly, I really appreciate that. 
have a have a good day wherever you are. And Boston says, You are famous, you're on my TV. Yay! Um that's the thing, you can watch me on TV. I can watch myself on TV. And because you can go to YouTube and just play it. Or you, I didn't know I don't know if I can watch Facebook. I suppose I can if I, there's certain ways of doing it. I've got um a few little dongle things that I can plug in. Uh, which actually lets me use the internet, so then I could go onto Facebook and watch myself, I guess. Um, and there's a Facebook, yeah, there's a Facebook app, so I should be able to see myself. Anyway, um, but that was it, really. I, I want to go. We're going to go now. I've got stuff to do. Um, so I really appreciate the conversation we've had and the interactions been groovy wonderful special and Andre's fast asleep so I won't bother him uh, to say goodbye um, okay leave then <laughs> thanks Boston Rachel please don't go oh I love you so don't want you to go Please don't go. Ooh, ooh. Uh, you all have enough of me. Come on. Every day, nearly an hour at least of me waffling on. Plus the other podcasts I do. There's over a thousand, probably what? Probably about 2,000 hours of me chatting online. Plenty for you to listen to. You've just had a special treat today. <laughs> Um, in fact, I think it's probably me that's had a special treat because uh, hearing the lovely things you say and getting to say hi to, to some of you. So Linda says, thanks. Have a good night, Dave. Thank you. It's evening here. Well, it's morning. It's 2.31 in the morning. Molly says, thanks, Jason. I hope you have a really good week. Thank you. Thank you. You too. I will be, um, I'll probably make a Let Me Boy to Sleep recording later, probably about five o'clock when the boxing's over. Um, and then, or maybe in the morning when I get up, or the afternoon. But for right now, I'm going to go, and I don't know, I might put this on YouTube, but I might not, it depends. Because I've got a, I suppose I've got a fan, not fan babe, but I've got what people that view my videos that have been following me for years and years as well, that are on, um, go to bed, Jason. I don't go to bed at 2.30 in the morning. I'm never in bed before 5.00. Usually about seven, six or seven, yeah. Rachel says, you've heard them all, all of my recordings. Well, there'll be another one in a few hours, don't worry. There'll be another one. And I'll talk about this. I'm going to talk about you, Rachel. I'm going to talk about you behind your back. I'm going to tell people stuff. <laughs> of course I'm not. I'm going, to, I'm going to talk about Boston. I'm going to talk about Molly. Molly, I'm going to tell everyone about you. <laughs> Who else? Oh, Linda. Oh. I would just, uh, I don't know what I'll talk about. I haven't done anything today. But it doesn't stop me, does it? So I'm going to go, thanks Rachel, thanks Boston, thank you Molly, thank you Linda, thank you Rachel, I've already said that, thank you Scott, thank you um, Angela, Sheila, Rachel, I could have said Rachel, Oh dear, Rachel, I thank you for those times. Monica, of course, thank you Monica. Monica had to go, didn't she, earlier. Um, overeating, so I'm going to look at that. I'm going to look into that. Okay, and all the other people that I'm trying to go back, but the screen's not letting me. Riley, of course. Of course, I couldn't forget Riley and Linda. So thank you all of you for watching today. And I love you all. Oh, mwah, mwah, mwah. And uh, I will see you again. Maybe I'll do kind of a regular weekly thing like this. I don't know. Because um, this is a good time for me. But none of my English fans or followers or whatever. Or Brit will. Well, not all. Obviously, Rachel is. But a lot of them will be in bed at this time. But if I do it earlier in the evening, a lot of people in America, Australia, you'll won't be able to get it because it will be a wrong time for you. So 
It's uh, I'm getting a lot of. Is that kisses from Molly or I don't know? I'm getting a lot of um, your face flashing up, on the on the right hand side. Don't promise us because I'll hold you to it. Okay, Boston. Um, I won't promise anything, but we'll see. We'll see. So. Remember, go to my website, www.jasonnewland.com and leave a video review, if you haven't already. If you've already left one, don't, don't leave one. But if you have, if you haven't, then maybe you consider it. That'd be really. So thank you. See you later. Bye. And remember to be kind to yourself. Because you do deserve to be happy. Genuinely, you deserve to be happy. Think of all the people you've helped in the past. People you don't even know about that you've helped. People whose lives you've affected in a positive way that you don't even remember. You don't know. You can't know all that stuff. So. I'm going to go now. Take care. Lots of love. Bye.